A female mourning dove visits her nest on an unseasonably warm day. She then tries to settle in for a male to come beside her. A male mourning dove will follow her to their nesting site. They then preen each other with gentle nibbles around the neck as a pair bonding ritual. A mourning dove are monogamous and forms a strong pair of bonds. They usually return to the same area each breeding season. He walks beside the female mourning dove to preen her. It's fairly common to see two mourning doves cuddling with each other. Loyalty and commitment are very much so a part of the mourning dove's way of life. They will stay with the same mate throughout the breeding season. It is even thought that some will stick with the same mate throughout their life. The call of the dove is a mournful, soft, slow cooing sound. Nests are constructed of loosely fit twigs and grass 5 to 15 feet high. Courtship activities begin in late winter late February or early March. Egg-laying happens in late April or early May. Unlike most birds, doves incubate their eggs continually. Incubation lasts about 14 days and both the male and female take part. Mm -hmm. 
Since the male and female look alike, it appears the same bird is incubating the eggs the whole time. The male usually sits on the nest during the day while the female takes her turn at night. If you are around mid-morning or mid-afternoon, you might get to see them change places. The nest is rarely left unattended. Because doves can be tactile, they are often considered romantic and loving. Most doves are also year-round residents, making them familiar guests throughout the seasons even when other birds have migrated. They can be helpful in the yard by cleaning up beneath seed feeders or feasting on wheat seeds. Whenever possible, just leave an old bird nest where you find it. If you have to move it, be sure the birds are gone, and no new birds have moved in. This way you'll do what's best for wildlife. If you do not see any adults near the nest and there is no progress, no hatched eggs, etc., after four, or more, weeks, the nest may have been abandoned. If a morning dove not sitting on her eggs, 
The parasites are a probable cause of why doves abandon their eggs and young. The dove's egg shell is thin, so, candling, is easy. Carefully hold an egg that has been incubated for five days in one hand and shine a bright flashlight behind it. In a fertile egg, veins are visible beneath the shell. An infertile egg is clear under the light, with no veins present. While nesting, male and female adults produce crop milk, an antioxidant-rich liquid secreted in their throats. The milk is also high in fat and protein. Both parents feed this milky substance to the young while they are still in the nest. Eventually, their diet transitions to seeds, an adult mourning dove's main source of food. Young doves leave the nest when about 12 days old, though they often remain in the nest for several more days. When they finally leave the nest, they join flocks of other independent juvenile doves. Though fledglings wear a juvenile plumage, they are difficult to distinguish from adult doves. Adult mourning doves live about two years in the wild. Some cases, however, have noted a lifespan of five, seven, and ten years. Regardless of whether or not they migrate, mourning doves who have successfully raised a brood will return to that same nesting site year after year.
It's about time and these pairs are preparing to lay eggs and hatch.